Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Cho and I'm here at one of my uh, best friends Fix and Flip here in North Phoenix. I just happened to be in town or around this area and I said, hey Jalen, is it okay if I check out, check out by your project because I've never done a flip. Like, I, know, I don't even know how to change a doorknob or not like that well, I've never really done it that many times. So uh, I just wanted to swing by just to see how the projects are going, especially in this market. So Jalen, thank you so much for allowing me to- Oh yeah, man, welcome, uh, anytime, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna cover a couple of things. Yep. Where this deal came from, Okay. how much you're gonna make on this deal, or approximately, it doesn't have to be exact okay. numbers. Yep. And then can you can you give us a tour of the house to see how, um, like what you're doing to the house to, okay. you know, to renovate the house? Okay. And where did this deal come from? So we got this deal from Privy. Properties are already listed on market. So we got it for 405. We're putting ninety thousand dollars into it, and then we plan on selling it for about five fifty to five sixty. So planning on netting maybe around like fifty grand. Okay. So perfect. Yep. Perfect. If you're first fixing, fixing and flipping a house, like what's the biggest mistake that people should avoid? They should definitely avoid underestimating their renovation budget. Okay. If anything, you should overestimate what you think you would spend in renovation, right? Because you never know where your contractor's workload looks like, right? And then you also don't know what materials may cost now. I yep. can tell you that firsthand, and I'm sure you can say, say firsthand experience. Mm -hmm. Like I bought a couple of midterm rentals mm -hmm. and you know, we didn't go over budget like too much, but like we've, we've gone over budget probably, probably by like five to 10% yeah. on every single project. Yeah. But if you're, if you're over budgeting on a uh, projects like $90,000 renovation, that's a $10,000. Yeah. And then you, let's just say you're, uh, you're behind, let's just say you sell the house a little, like th a month late or the renovation yeah. takes a month longer mm -hmm. two months of holding cards that, that that's that could be like eight grand right exactly yeah so it could eat up to, that right there is 18 grand gone right exactly there. that's what i wanted to ask is after the fact that you said you get your paint you get your painter after you do the drywall yeah and then you do, do the baseboards after right. whatever like right. that like there's there's order in which in which you do, you do right. this like you, yeah. you wouldn't want to paint that entire house and Wait. now you got to dry one now you got to paint it all over exactly again. Wait, yeah exactly yeah like the 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 certain certain sequ the sequence of events like usually your contractors would tell you or if you're with a more experienced person they should definitely already know these things right so like when i was getting started i relied heavily on who my partner was right. to tell me what was next right you know so like but it doesn't take too many times to understand like okay after we do the demo we need to do framing after framing we do drywall after right. drywall we do I don't know. So, so it's basically, okay, after this, boom, boom, yeah, boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. And this isn't, this isn't a, such a great neighborhood. Oh, yeah. It's one of the best neighborhoods. Yeah, bro. It's really North quiet. Street. I don't know what mountain this thing is back in. Okay. But it, it's, I don't know what, look, but you got to get the mountain, bro. Oh, bro. Look, I don't know what, I don't know what mountain this thing is back in, but the, the view is quite scenic. Yeah. So how many how many <laughs> more um how many more months do you have until this project is finished? Uh, I would give it maybe about two and a half weeks. Two and a half before, weeks. Yeah, I give about two and a half weeks okay. before we finish. So, uh, what's left is uh cabinets. Okay. Well, what's yeah, what's left is cabinets and the trim and then fixtures and that's pretty much it. Lights. Okay. Because we got to finish up on electrical. Wow. Yep. That was. So you, you're, you're in and out of, of this project in about like eight two weeks, months. eight weeks. Yeah. Eight weeks. And then you got to sell it. Yep. But then you already have, but then from what I, from, from our previous conversation before the oh, camera yeah. turned on, um, you already have a buyer that was interested in saying, Hey, can you please give me first day because I want to go, go buy this house. Oh yeah. So for everybody that doubts our Phoenix market. Oh yeah. A lot of people doubt the Phoenix market, man, but like, uh, it's hot. So this is just a text that we got from the neighbor uh of the house oh the neighbor wants to the buy the neighbor it. wants to buy the house do you know which one which neighbor i don't know but she has a son and her son came by he talked to our contractors okay and uh he liked the house he was like hey let us know whenever you guys are putting it up we told him what price we wanted to sell it for okay and yeah he was still he was still wanted it. honestly if, if if you do that you might make another 10 grand on the Cause, hopefully because you don't have you don't have the buyer's agent commission that you're gonna have to pay yeah out. yeah well yeah. we don't pay buyer's commission Anyway, well, we, we might, we discount it. Oh, okay. We discount it. Okay. I take that back, bro. I'm talking about sales side. Oh yeah. 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 yeah you got to take that part yeah, out. Yeah. So you're the, you're the seller. <laughs> right. So yeah. You, you pay yeah. the buyer's agent. Yeah. So, but if you can cut that middle, cut that buyer's agent. Oh yeah. Now, two and a half percent on a $550,000 house. That's 13 grand right there. Yeah. And then you don't have to pay. Uh, we have a listing. Your partner's a listing agent on this one. Yep. Okay. So, partner's listing agent. Yeah. So if you need listings, you can hit up my partner. Her name is Belinda Lee. Belinda Lee. Okay, so what kind of houses are you looking for right now in, in this market? Like, 
what area, what price point, yeah. and what kind of renovation you're comfortable with. Okay, we're looking in Phoenix Metro, three to two bathrooms at a minimum. Okay. Three to two bathrooms at a minimum. And uh, we're looking for a price point to be at or below 350 and ARV to be at or below 550. Okay. And then we're looking to get into some luxury markets too, because I'm working with a few things with uh, a bigger general contractor. Okay. And then I'm also working with uh, a, a private money guy okay. that's going to be partnering with me on some things. Okay. So, okay, so I'll, I'll put, I'll put Jalen's Instagram and you can DM him any deals that you want. Matter of fact, somebody sent me a deal in Goodyear. I haven't even looked at it, but. This is this is the power of social media. Is like you get you get people to send you deals. Oh yeah. So make sure you send any creative deals or any fix and flip opportunities to Jalen, and uh, he'll he'll pay you a good assignment fee. Let's go. All right. Bye. <laughs>